What is up guys, it's your boy Weedy Weasley down at Weasley's Corner. This one is a request video that I'm, ma I'm making. Uh, requested by a gentleman called Tabonguna. Big up to you, bro. He asked us to do a video on uh, how to make a song or to make a beat on Cubase without a MIDI controller. Disclaimer, guys, I'm not an expert at this. I've never done it before. I'm just going to show you basics of it because I'm I, I play keys so I've never had to make a song without a MIDI controller. I'm a piano player so I always play with uh, with the MIDI keys, which I would advise you guys to just you know get basics, just basic lessons. I'm I'm, I'm willing to give those if you guys want me to 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 do that. So what we're going to do firstly, we'll create or add an instrument track. I've shown you how to do that on part one of how to create a, a song from scratch. Okay, I'll leave the, the link on the description if you don't know how to do that because I'm not going to go into that now. Okay, now we'll create the kick drum. I'll just choose a random kick. That is one beat, two, three, four beats, which make a bar. Double click on, on the blank space right in between the mark, your left and your right marker. Double click again. Okay, how do you draw? right click and hold okay right click and hold and choose whatever tool you want to use in this case we're going to use the pencil let go of your mouse it will be selected so this is what you do let's play it back we can um loop that If you want to rename the the track the the this area here, you just click on it once and come and click here. There you go. Let's now kick. Let's create um hi hats. I'll just choose a random kit. Double click. This area here helps you to to set your your cue length okay okay we have a basic uh, kick and uh, open heads there let's do now a snap Choose your sample. You just pick a random one. If you want to go to your mixer, just press F3 on your keyboard and you can, you know, balance your, your, your drums. Now let's do some basic keys, but we need we want for it to be a four bar loop. Remember this is one bar. So you highlight it, click control and D. This is now a four bar, one, two, three, four. On a Mac you'd uh, click, uh, on a Mac you'd click command D. Highlight that, how do you highlight that? Click control A or command A on a Mac and click P. On your keyboard let's do our keys double click that's an f minor chord and a c minor chord i want these to run for the rest of this song so i'll highlight them and come click where i want this to start copy it's control c control v
let's now do our base. Oh, let's rename that. Let us choose a sample. I just choose a random one. We can always change it later. I want that to repeat for the rest of the song. So I'll click right where I want it to start. Highlight the whole thing. Control C for copy, Control V for copy. If I want to change a few things on the second cycle, then I can come and edit, do whatever I need to do there. Okay, but for just for this video, I'll just leave it as it is. So basically, that is it. Our song is done. Our song is done. You can highlight this and Control D or Command D for paste. And that is basically it. Very basic. Like I said, I'm not a pro at this because I never use I never use it. I always play my songs on the MIDI controller or, or keyboard or whatever because I'm a key I'm a keys player. So I don't really need to do this. Manipulate your bass if you want, you know, your, your EQs and stuff. I'll get to this as we, as we progress and grow together, guys. Okay. Show you how to EQ and stuff like that. Yeah. The delay as well is a very nice tool to use to manipulate your bass, especially your electronic music, dance music and stuff. You can it's got, it's got a nice, it adds a very nice okay. Guys, that is it. Big up to Tibos. Thanks for the for the request and and be cool guys. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. It is your boy, Weedy Weasley at Weasley's Corner. Thank you guys. Cheers.